Thank you for tuning in to Machine Repeat TV with a special edition of the Joy Ranch of South Dakota. In a few minutes, Machine Repeat is going to explain the benefits and the projects that go on at the Joy Ranch. And remember, the Joy Ranch Rendezvous of 2023 is the beginning of the 23-24 fundraising session. I'm Lynn Oblin. It's my privilege to introduce Joy Nelson, the founder of the Joy Ranch, and also Miranda, who's in charge of the equine facilities and the assistant ranch manager. You need to understand that there is a very elite group of board of directors that back these ladies up on the mission of the Joy Ranch. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of the regional sponsors that brought the Joy Ranch Rendezvous to you today, and also our two premier sponsors, the Sanford Health Systems and American Bank and Trust. Please take a look at us and Google Joy Ranch of South Dakota and see what we can do to help you and also what you can do to help us. Thanks and enjoy the show. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Peak TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Peak, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Peak thanks these premier sponsors for their support. No other cornhead works like a Drago, or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see how you can justify owning a Drago on ROI alone. Well folks, in 11 seasons of Machinery Pete TV, we've had a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching the show over the years. And I tell you, really special episode today. I'm out near Watertown, South Dakota, and we are here for the kickoff of the Joy Ranch of South Dakota fundraising for the 2023-24 season. This event, the Joy Ranch Rendezvous, and folks, this, I think, is the best kept secret in the Midwest. The Joy Ranch of South Dakota, amazing facility, old time Western vibe, uh, great facilities on site. You can stay here, you can have weddings, reunions, all kinds of stuff. And I tell you, we are gonna have a lot of fun today, but first, we need to meet the person who created this amazing facility, Joy Nelson. If you were to visit Joy Ranch, the first thing that you will see coming up the road is a church that I moved onto the property. And as you draw close to that, you'll see a whole 1880s town. It has a main street that is not for cars. It is for kids in wheelchairs and horses and buggies. When I bought this property, there was absolutely nothing on it. There was one tree. And from that single tree, now we have um, 120 acres that's filled with beautiful opportunities. The whole entire facility is completely accessible so that it is welcome to anybody with any type of mobility or medical issue. We can serve them all. Ride horses, fish, there are accessible paths down to the lake. I am a big believer in the healing power of horses. So a lot of our programs here are equine based. The horses help to promote communication skills, help to rebuild confidence. Bring them out here to the horses and it's like, they just light up. It brings tears to my eyes. We do a program called Triple H, which is Hope Healing in Horses for sexually abused children. Since becoming involved in Triple H, these kids have um, been able to forge relationships again, be able to communicate uh, with their counselors in regard to this sexual abuse. We had been in therapy for a couple of months and she hadn't told her therapist the story. I was the only person she had told about what happened to her. Just was too scared to tell anybody. And I think it was like the second time out here and um, it was that following week that she told her story finally. What I see a lot of going on out here is a lot of hope and a lot of healing. Engaging and interacting with these huge creatures that are gentle giants. And so they began trusting again. That moment when there is that bond, that is just so special to me. I recognize it when I see it and the child and the horse know it. And that is just an awesome experience. Joy's here, she doesn't have to be, but she is because um, she cares just as much as we do. Her continued blessing is incredible. She's constantly putting something more into this place, and she's just this little pint-sized dynamo. Joy's heart is incredible. It beats through the whole community. Everybody knows her from something she's done for somebody in, in their lives. It is so gratifying today for me to see the impact that we're having on people's lives. It was worth every minute and every dollar of it. 
Hey, stay tuned folks, coming up, we're gonna learn more about this unbelievable facility, the Joy Ranch of South Dakota, just outside of Watertown, South Dakota here. This is the actual spot decades ago where Joy Nelson had the vision to build this and with a mission to help kids with disabilities getting up close to horses to gain confidence. It is unbelievable, stay tuned. Howdy folks, John Hengel with Purple Wave Auctions, Territory Manager in Minnesota. We're on site at T.A. Shifsky and Sons. We'd like to tell you about an auction coming up April 17th. There's gonna be hundreds of items. We're gonna have three open inspection dates, April 6th, April 10th, and April 13th from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. You're welcome to come out, walk through the equipment. You can visit all the items online at purplewave.com. At LST Group, we are committed to providing exceptional service across all modes of transportation. If you're shipping machinery across the state or across the country, trust LST Group to handle it with precision and care. Our expanded network ensures your shipments will reach their destinations swiftly and securely. Discover the LST Group difference and experience the epitome of excellence in transportation services. To request a quote, call 844-622-6209. Hey folks, Machinery Pete here. You've got to try this. The power of foam is the only way to clean and degrease your equipment. Simply foam it on, give the foam a few minutes to work, and power wash it off. Cuts grease and your wash time significantly. The foam won't harm electrical sensors or controls. It neutralizes and washes away farm chemicals and is safe to use on most surfaces. Call 888-996-7801 or go online to check out their dealer locator at powerofoam.com to find the power of foam near you. Schneider Auctioneers of Burger, Missouri Spring Highline Equipment Auction coming up Saturday, April 13. Nearly 900 items selling no reserve. Unused 2023 New Holland Power Star 120 with only 5 hours. 2011 John Deere 6330 with 2,276 hours. 2015 Cat 311 FLRR Excavator with 2,621 hours. Restored International 1206. New Holland 575 Baylor barely used. Pair of low hour one owner John Deere 4420 Combines. Go to SchneiderAuctioneers.com. The eastern edge of South Dakota is ranching country. Its rolling hills and plentiful lakes make it ideal for raising cattle. But Joy Nelson would eventually make this area known for a different kind of ranch. In 1989, Greg, I bought the land out here, uh, and Joy Ranch was not a part of that dream yet. Mm. And um, I built uh, my horse ranch because I have this, have had this lifetime love affair with horses. And I started to do volunteer programs out here with some of my equine friends for um, disabled children, um, different mission groups, um, big brothers, big sisters, veterans um, mm. with PTSD. And they were just volunteer programs, you know, in my ranch yard. And we recognized the need. I mean, I kept getting more and more and more calls for, for people to do this. So. Mm. Um, we had South Dakota State University uh, do a feasibility study on if we built a facility here, how many people would have need for what we could do with mission-based groups. And they identified 30,000 people within a 100-mile radius wow. of the I-29 corridor from the southern border of South Dakota to the North Dakota border. This is not your typical facility, however. The dream eventually became a theme. You've created an Old West Main Street that is unlike anything I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, you have an old country church that you rescued. Yes. You have a one-room schoolhouse that you rescued. Yes. And throughout <clears throat> Main Street and all these buildings, your fingerprints are on, like, run throughout all of them, the details. Just incredible, kind of your life's work. It is. I've been an antique um, collector and a Western collector since I was 18. I've always been yeah. in love with the 1800s. Yep. And I'm a cowgirl, right? There's 16 rooms on site here, are individually themed. Yes. And the detail in those rooms is just amazing. And again, the easy way is to just make a room. You did not do that, Joy. No, no. It's Each one is individually themed. And themed too, that time period, right? Yeah. And uh, it, it was fun. It was fun to do it, Greg. 
In fact, it was so much fun that she wanted to share it with as many people as possible. But I knew that um, this could also be a place that folks maybe that, that don't have a challenge could enjoy as well. Right. And they then help our core mission. Right. So we did it in kind of high comfort style, mm -hmm. you know, and with a lot of interesting things here so that when, when people come for other events, rather that be weddings or family reunions or corporate retreats or board meetings, that it's a fun, interesting place to be and that by them coming here, they're helping us serve our mission. Overlooking the rolling hills here of eastern South Dakota, it's, the tranquility is amazing. And I told the architect that as we drew up these plans that when people park in the parking lot over there, I want them to feel like they've left that world behind with all of the stress and the cares that we all live with today and that they enter this world where it's peaceful, safe, just a different world. Well, folks, we're going to learn more about the amazing programs they do here at Joy Ranch of South Dakota. Equine therapy, getting kids with disabilities up close to horses, give them confidence. It is unbelievable. Stay tuned. Huge two-day spring machinery auction, Monday and Tuesday, April 8th and 9th by Almer Auction in Ashley, North Dakota. 52 tractors selling on day one, including a 2021 John Deere 8R370 with 1,809 hours, a 2012 John Deere 8335 hour with 5,613 hours, a pair of Case H STX 375 quad tracks, and a Case H 9370 four-wheel drive with 6,321 hours. Also harvest, hay forage, and planting equipment, plus trucks and trailers. For info and bidding, visit omerauction.com. Best way I've seen to fix faded paint? Dakota Shine. Made in South Dakota by Dakota Ag Innovations, a company with a 20-year history of working with top construction equipment manufacturers, now offering Dakota Shine to the farm community to help you keep your equipment looking like new and retain more value when it comes time to sell or trade. Key active ingredient from corn soy derivatives. Order online at dakotashine.com or visit your regional farm stores to pick up your Dakota Shine today. With a servant's heart, Joy Nelson has created an environment for discovery, encouragement, and healing at Joy Ranch. As new ideas become full-fledged programs, they often start small, but flourish under Joy's care. We started out with uh, just the disability issue with the equine programs, and that grew into, we do medical camps for children with cancer, uh, camps for children with spina bifida, children afflicted with um, autism, uh, boys and girls club, you know, camps, and, and typically they come from families that are, you know, not quite as affluent, and sure. so, and so it's, a, it's a good thing for them to come here. Um, we do a program called Triple H, which is Hope, Healing, and Horses, hmm. and we partnered with the law enforcement of Northeast South Dakota, and they send us children that have been sexually abused. And so we work with them um, to build their confidence back. And um, for them, to, their confidence is absolutely, you know, destroyed. And so it helps them to be able to form relationships again. Mm. Now, Joy, you're, you're a horse person. Oh, yes. You, you grew up around them. Can you explain, I mean, equine therapy, uh, you, uh, you've seen the magic of it. And uh, can you explain, how do you explain it to people who aren't familiar with Horses. It, people that haven't been around horses don't understand how intuitive they are, you know. Did you know that a horse can feel your heartbeat from six feet away? I did not know that. They do. And um, so they pick up on your emotions and um, they read you. They read you. And so when people are in distress, um, the horses know that and they, they bond with these children. Mm. And um, I've been around it so much all my life, I recognize it when I see it, mm. and, and it's just awesome to watch that. Families tell us that, um, you know, once they've been here with a child, that child cannot wait to get back here. And um, not just because it's a camp and it's fun, but because the mission-based programs that we serve, this is the only place where they can do everything that any other kid can do on a normal day that mm. they can't. They can do it here. Your staff is amazing. They are. It's, uh, and the amount of work that you guys do, it's not that big of a staff. But no, we have, 
We have seven full-times and then three part-time people. And we take care of this whole entire facility and the horses and... It seems like a family to me as I observe it, looking at it. That's what we call ourselves. We're the Joy Ranch family. These folks that work here, um, they totally believe in our mission. They could be leaving here at midnight, one o'clock in the morning, and they're right back here at six getting stuff ready for, for the kids. You the know, next when day. you showed me around the property and, and introduced me to your staff, I got to interact with them. It occurred to me, you're not only changing the lives of the kids and the families, you're changing the lives of your staff members. Uh, yep. Yep, and I think they would tell you that, yeah. One of those staff members, Miranda Breitag, grew up being a part of the ranch. You know, I've been out here since I was eight or ten years old before any of this was built, and we just kind of did things down in the barn for kids around the community, and ever since then, I mean, it's just a huge passion of mine to help the community and the kids, and especially with the horses involved as well. It's just everything that I strive to be involved with, so it's just been a great blessing in my life. But. I've been now full-time for about six years. Six years, okay. So. And we have a special guest today. Can you introduce us? This is uh, this Silent. This is Silent Stoltenberg. And Silent, did you just come to Joy Ranch not too long ago? Yeah, okay. I came two weeks ago. What were you out here for, do you remember? Riding horses, archery, and a lot more. I saw a picture of you shooting an arrow, man. You look, you did a great job. Was that the first time you'd done the, the archery? No. I a bow at home and a crossbow. Okay. Well, I had a crossbow, but my dad don't know where that went. Okay. How about riding horses? Had you ever been on a horse before to the Joy Ranch? No. And what did you think the first time Miranda helped you up on the horse and you were riding? What did that feel like? Fun. You know, I remember when Silen was here, he was very quiet on the first day. And then that second day we got him up on the horse and he just opened up. It was just, he was talking and laughing and smiling. And we, uh, he kept asking me, can we go faster? Can we go faster? And I'm thinking, okay, here we go. And so we get to trot in and he goes down and he goes, this is the best day of my life. Those best day ever experiences are common at Joy Ranch, but never get old for the staff. Some of these kids, you know, they come and they've got a disability or they've got a challenge. And so like through school and through just being out in the community, I mean, they're looked at as, you know, different. And they're looked at as like, told that they can't do things because of their disability or their challenge. And you know, out here at Joy Ranch, our biggest goal is to never say no. And we always push the kids more. You know, it's never, we're never gonna hold them back. We're gonna push them to get out of their comfort zone. And it's just amazing then seeing them come, you know, Monday for camp. And by the time they leave Friday, they have made new friends. They have built a confidence that they just did not have when they first got here. And it's just, it's amazing to watch. You know, they just literally grow so much within just a few days of being out here. It's just great. Coming up, the ranch opens its doors to the entire community with the first ever Joy Ranch Rendezvous. The only way I've seen to safely clean aluminum grain and stock trailers is Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner from Dakota Ag Innovations. With over 15 years of proven performance cleaning all types of aluminum, the results speak for themselves. Dirty, stained, and discolored aluminum trailers don't stand a chance against Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner. Safely improve the appearance of your aluminum trailers at home and make a statement with Bright Plus. Order today at TrailerCleaner.com or find Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner at a farm store near you. Every facility at Joy Ranch is done with great planning and care. The same holds true for throwing a party. 2023 Joy Ranch Rendezvous, a chance for all to experience the magic of this place, pulled out all the stops. People from across the region came through the gates to experience Joy's renowned hospitality, including a very special guest. Joy Ranch is a special place where she has just plugged her whole life and soul into this ranch that ministers to people. I think to challenged kids, kids that have been through trauma, have had families that have had some brokenness, people come here to heal. 
Now the goal of the Joy Ranch Rendezvous again to raise funds so you can grow the, the facility and the mission here. I would. I That's would right. Guess. To help more people. Some of um, some of the camps and mission-based programs that we have, um, some of them coming out of Minneapolis, we don't have enough sleeping quarters. We're not large enough for all of them to come. So they have to kind of pick and choose who gets to come, which means somebody doesn't get to come. Right. Right? And that's kind of sad. Right. So and now you with Joy Ranch of South Dakota here, a lot of uh, kids come from families with significant <coughs> life challenges. Maybe they don't have the resources, but through your endowment, you have, you've been helping kids and families uh, for a long time doing this. Right, we have. You? Yep, we have an endowment set up um, where we, um, you know, can take the income from that to deplete the cost for kids having to come here. Right. Um, but I would love to grow that to a point where these kids could come and it doesn't cost them anything. Any right. kid can come. One of the biggest attractions at the rendezvous was the one-armed bandit, John Payne who despite losing an arm in a tragic accident, wowed the crowd with his horsemanship. His inspirational story of overcoming adversity held special significance for our friend, Silent Stoltenberg, who even participated in the show. Let's talk about here, the Joy Ranch Rendezvous, uh, your involvement, man, you had a show there with, with a young a boy uh, that was born with a disability and the way you worked him into the show and were so natural with it. Uh, what meaning does it have for you to be involved with an organization like this? Putting a smile on somebody's face and uh, making them forget all their worries and troubles for just a little while, that's all the pay I need. And that's perhaps the legacy of Joy Ranch, a focus on the selfless service and meeting a growing need, just like growing an entire mission from a single tree. My legacy would be that we continue to grow this and that, and that all these kids can come here for free and experience a life they have nowhere else. When they drive down the road to the, to the ranch here and they see that church in front of them and then this town opens up that you can't see from the highway, I want them to feel that they've left that stressful, complicated, troubled world, you know, behind. And just even for a short period of time, have a place where it's peaceful, happy, helpful, and, and, and away from all the troubles. That's, that's what I hope to create. Well, folks, I hope you had as much fun as I had here today at the Joy Ranch Rendezvous near Watertown, South Dakota. What a place. I can't stress it enough, folks. You need to come and experience this place, the detail, and what a mission that Joy Nelson, they've, they've created here to help kids with disabilities and life challenges uh, get up close with horses and a place to unplug and recharge your batteries. And, and folks, Please think about your own special events, whether it's a family reunion, or maybe a wedding at the Old Country Church. You can do it right here at the Joy Ranch of South Dakota, create lifetime memories, and all the dollars go towards the mission of helping the kids. So check out that website, joyranchofsd.org, and we'll see you back here next week on Machinery Pete TV. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. No other cornhead works like a Drago, or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see how you can justify owning a Drago on ROI alone.